Welcome to Year One Diesel. If you watched the last couple episodes, you've seen me talk about the Teleflex MBU V3. Um, I've been very happy with this unit and uh, I thought I'd play with it a little bit more. And uh, today we're going to try to actually burn uh, some other types of fuel in this unit. Uh, normally I run it on uh, a diesel. Um, but I'm going to try something different today and I want to see if I can run it on. Uh, pure vegetable oil and uh, mineral oil. Um, I have no idea if this is going to work um, and obviously it's, it's cold out today and I, I don't want to fill up the fuel tank with uh, vegetable oil or mineral oil. Um, so what I'm uh, doing is I've, I've uh, since I have an extra regulator I'm going to uh, fill the fuel into a small container. Uh, I'll start it on diesel. I'm going to warm it up and uh, then I'm going to switch over and uh, to another container with vegetable oil and then uh, mineral oil. Um, uh, I want to give this the best chance possible of working. It's about 20 degrees out, and so obviously the uh, vegetable oil's pretty thick, and uh, the mineral oil's also uh, pretty thick. So I'm going to I'm going to put both of those uh, in a bath to warm them up to at least room temperature. Um, and uh, I'm going to start it up on diesel and warm it up on diesel and then switch it over to uh, uh, try out the other fuels. Well, this is running on diesel right now. Uh, doesn't seem to be any issues with the uh, regulator and uh, fuel setup. I've swapped out the diesel container for uh, vegetable oil, and this vegetable oil has been warmed up to, uh, I'd probably call it bath water temperature, uh, so it's it's a little uh, less thick than, uh, than it normally would be. And the burner is still warmed up from running on diesel, so I'm going to go and restart it now. Looks like we uh, maybe lost our, our flame there. I don't know if we got uh, uh, gummed up the line or it just wasn't getting enough uh, fuel. Um, but it did. It did burn some vegetable oil and it did kind of smell like vegetable oil. Um, 
but uh, it, it seemed to work for a while. I'm going to switch back over to diesel and get it fired back up again. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to get to the mineral oil experiment today because it really got gummed up on the uh, vegetable oil. And uh, and now I can't get it to uh, run back on diesel again because I think the uh, uh, the siphon nozzle is, is a little bit gummed up. So uh, anyway, maybe we'll try again sometime when it's a little bit warmer out. And um, we'll, we'll see what else we can get this to run on. So our experiment to run on pure vegetable oil was partially successful. It did seem to burn it okay. Uh, I think after a few minutes, it, the uh, the fuel in the lines was uh, just was starting to get cold. It was it was um, kind of clogging up the uh, the siphon nozzle and the uh, uh, and the fuel line. Um, even though we had the fuel warmed up, there's quite a lot of um, stuff that's that you know it, the fuel flow is pretty low and um you know there's quite a ways to go from where it picks up the fuel to where it actually burns it so um it it was definitely burning the vegetable oil i could smell it um but it uh it only worked for a couple minutes then it seemed to have uh, uh, clogged up the system it took me a little while to get uh diesel flowing through it again and then uh then it seemed to run okay again on on diesel um we might try something like this again in the summertime, um, but you know, definitely, definitely, we would do it when when it's uh, not 20 degrees out, and uh, it, you know, and the and the vegetable oil isn't isn't uh, so thick. Um, but an interesting experiment, anyway. Uh, if you've got some other ideas, uh, put them in the comments. I might be able to try them out. Um, I enjoyed experimenting with this, um, and I'll, uh, I'll keep playing with this and let you know uh, how it works.